Austin absent from practice today. Just a maintenance day for him. And is Kasha likely to go tomorrow? Or? I, I wouldn't say that. No, he, he wasn't able to practice today, so I, I would call him unlikely for tomorrow. What went into uh, kind of shaking things up, I guess, the defense with putting Rasmus and Morgan together today? Uh, really, it's just a reshuffling uh, of our defense. Lilligren's not going to play tomorrow. We're going to put Dermot back in. Uh, it's a, just a, a good opportunity for us here to continue to use the depth. I think that's important. Lilligren's played a lot, and uh, the last couple games haven't haven't been you know his best. Yeah, he's done a great job of of uh, finding consistency in his game that makes you believe in him to give him a chance to play up there with Morgan. Um, but I think we also have to continue to use our depth. We've seen the effect it's had on Justin Hall here. We're just taking a day or two off, and we'll try the same approach here with Lily. What potential, though, do you see for Rasmus and Morgan together? Rasmus was saying Morgan's a guy he obviously <coughs> thinks very highly of. See some, some, some things about the from his game. Do you think that can benefit him? Or? Yeah, I mean, I think he can get that whether he's playing with them or not. He's, you know, just watching them from the bench. Maybe there's more advantage to that. I think being on the ice with him, he's got to be his partner. He's got to be there to help him out. He's got to move pucks to him. He's, he's got to defend. He's got to do all those kind of things. So I'm hopeful that uh, they can just complement each other well. I think one thing that it does for us that we're interested to get a look at, you know, not unlike when Brody's there, but certainly with Sand and, you know, uh, we like to use Sandy a lot of our offensive situations, as we, of course, do with Morgan. So now you've got them both, and you compare them with, say, the Matthews line and you know, offensive face-offs and things like that. So uh, we're curious to see how that plays out. Uh, you know, but like I said, I wouldn't read a whole lot into it. It's more more we just we wanted to give Lily a day off here, and, and we just, you know, we like the way Brody Hall is shaping up. So uh, somebody as a lefty had to play the right side, and... Wanted to give Rasmus a look there. How would you describe the effect Brody's had on Hall's game? Yeah, I mean, it's clearly been positive, you know, but at the same time, I think it's it's important not to downplay the Hall's game itself, you know, not to give you know, Brody has a stabling presence, you know, no matter who he um, plays with, for sure. Um, but Justin himself, his touches have been clean. Is he playing with confidence offensively? He's defending well. So, you know, full marks to Justin on that. Mitch was just named first star of the month. Is there anything you've noticed from him from before this month to now that's kind of changed whether it's approach or just the line mates or product and everything? Yeah, I would think, again, I mean, you've got to give credit to Mitch. He's, he's had you know extreme confidence here whether it's been you know his goal scoring uh, and how the puck's coming off his stick and the confidence around the net uh, to you know just the playmaking and work ethic and you know with the ability that he has he has great potential to have big months like this uh, and then you look at his line and how his line mates have performed and they've they've been uh, uh, they've been dynamic and they've been um, outstanding in so many ways as a line and that's just going to prop up everybody there so uh, I think they're all benefiting from each other but certainly you know offensively is the offensive pieces are generally what wins you you know these acknowledgments or get you these acknowledgments but uh, Mitch has done a terrific job for us on the penalty kill terrific job defensively and uh, it, it is nice to see guys get rewarded when you know they're giving you that full effort starting with Buffalo, a bunch of games against teams that are kind of lower in the standings, so, but those are the teams that have given you some trouble this year, so that's a, a good precursor to, the, to uh, such a game tomorrow. Yeah, I think it, just, again, another opportunity for us to continue to focus on our game and get that right, no matter who we're playing with, or playing against, excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, that's really it. You know, we, we, I've, we've got respect for Buffalo, just like when we played them out, out in Buffalo earlier in the season. You know, they got lots of skill, they got good young players, or you know they're they're playing, um, they're playing free and loose. And if you're not ready and prepared, then they have potential to make you uh, to make it hard on you. So, you know we're just going to focus on our game, the way we've played, and the way that we've defended. We think gives us a chance to win every night, and let's you know our skilled guys you know do their thing while protecting our goaltenders. So I think we just got to stay with our game. What have you liked about how Engvall has fit in with Camp and McGill when, when you've had those three together? Yeah, I mean he. It, it, they just seem to complement each other really well, right? I mean, they, all three guys skate skate real well. All three guys have uh, good skill sets individually to hang on to the puck and, and bring it up the ice. You know, it's 
three of the best guys we have at transporting the puck from our own zone to the offensive zone, and you put them all on the, all on the ice together, and you see positive results that way. I think obviously, when Pierre's playing up higher in the lineup like that, it's he's going to play more. He's going to feel more involved and more engaged in the game, and that's part of it. It's one of the challenges of being down the fourth line is that you don't get to play as much, and you got to find your way within that. It is a little bit easier to find your rhythm when you're in the top nine. I think that that has a positive effect on guys. So when there's opportunity that's created, you know, in this case with Kasha being out, you know, Pierre I think gets excited by that. Uh, so there's been a lot of good things that we've seen from that line, and, and you know they were as good a line as we had last night for sure. Limited minutes, but what have you made of Nick Robertson a couple games, and, and how how much do you want to get him a little more ice time? Well, I thought he was really good in Detroit, uh, and last night I thought he was fine too. But, you know that line, especially early in the game, that first period, they were spending a lot of time in our own end. And that's not necessarily a reflection on Nick. That's just a reflection on the line. So right away, naturally, you're going to lose a little bit of confidence in the group. And then also there was a ton of special teams yesterday, and, and Nick's not a, not a part of that. So he's coming in here trying to earn every shift and trying to take advantage of the opportunity that we've given him. Uh, so I'm happy with his attitude. I'm happy with uh, especially the game he had in Detroit. And that's what made us want to keep him in the lineup again last night. You know, however the minutes shake out, I think for a young guy like him, it's, it's just soaking up the whole experience and getting a taste of the NHL again. There's a few, uh, we're still, you still have a few games till then, but they started building the rink in, uh, in Hamilton yesterday. I believe you had some outdoor practices when you were with, uh, up in Pembroke, and I'm not sure if you guys played the FEMO when you were with uh, Toronto. But what's, what's your experience with outdoor games and how, how you look at yeah, never had an outdoor game myself. Uh, we had some practices at, at really all levels that we've played. I don't think we have one with the Marlies outdoor practice. We've had one with the Leafs. And, um, I haven't been a part of an outdoor game, as I say, but I do think it's a cool experience. And I think everybody that hasn't done it is, is, gets excited by it. I don't know how those that have already experienced it feel about it in the middle of the season. But, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for, for our fans and, you know, for, for Hamilton. Um, I haven't seen what's going on with the, the building or the, the, the stadium or uh, anything like that. But, you know, when the time comes, we'll, we'll be excited about it for sure. I know my kids are excited about it. Does it break up the, I don't want to call it monotony of the season, but is it, it, does it, it just bring a little bit of change? Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's something different for sure. So I think that's, you know, I think most guys are going to bring their families in, and a lot of the coaching staff. We've got, you know, a few few members of our staff that don't have their family here with them, but it's it's a reason for them to come into town and take part of it. You know, all of that. But we've got some time between now and then, so it isn't it isn't really in the forefront of our minds. But uh, we know it's coming, and there is some excitement building for it for sure. Back with Peter tomorrow or Jack? Uh, Peter will go tomorrow. Uh, no, it was more. It was a question. We were trying to to get some time there to try to f find uh, the appropriate replays to see if it if there was a potential challenge there for a missed high stick. Um, it, is all we we really couldn't find anything conclusive on whether or not Lilligren touched the puck clear, cleanly or not. The, ref, the official thought he had, and that's why they waved it off. Um, it looked like he might have perhaps missed the puck. So that's all we were doing is trying to see if we could get some enough time to find enough replays that maybe could get a clean look at it. But we we couldn't uh, find one, and, and Lily himself was unsure whether he actually touched it. And the official felt he did, so we didn't feel like we could challenge that one in that case.